Best Booker. Oh, here we go. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. Did Tony Khan get to live his dream this magic moment when Tony won Booker of the Year? It was so exciting. He d***ed off 16 times, and then it happened. He slipped and fell in his goo, and you wouldn't like it if it happened to you to fall in goo. I think you sang that about Sami Zayn last night. Are you just going to assign this song to any I'm ju- I'm just wrestling personality each show? I'm just going to weekly to, yes, to everybody who falls in their own goo. <laughs> well, number one, <laughs> you see, you have to see. Who, who, who <laughs> fell in the goo? Uh, best booker with 372 first place votes, Tony Khan. <laughs> There you go. At number two, Rosie Ogawa. Whoop. At number who three, is, Rosie. Who is Rosie? Does she book the hold on the girl, Japanese girls? There's something very interesting about this this year. So let me get through this. Number three, Paul Levesque. Number four, Ghetto. Number five, Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard. Who? At number six, Scott Demore. And number seven for best booker. Sean Michaels. Who is who? Sean Shelby and and Dick My Rod or whatever. Mick Maynard. I'm not exactly sure. Jim, I think this is the one where Dave even had to acknowledge my readership is fucking stupid, or at least a lot of them who were voting on this stuff. Okay, well, elaborate again. Tony Khan, number one, 372 first place votes. Paul Levesque, 183 in third place. <clears throat> I usually don't comment on this, and for the first six months of the year, you can make the argument, but WWE and AEW as businesses were in the same position with one much larger, but the clear-cut one, two in the world all year. However, it was WWE that grew all year, while AEW did not do nearly as well in comparison over the last eight months. You can argue bad luck or injuries, But in a Coach of the Year award, one team doing so much better in comparison at the end as compared to the beginning, that coach is going to win. Injuries are part of the game, and regrouping and rebounding from them are as well. A comparison of the promotion of the returns of CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, and Kenny Omega is so greatly in one side's favor. Yes, AEW did create an environment on television and pay-per-view to have far more great matches. And while some of WWE's growth relates to the stadium shows, a lot of it also relates to the aura of Roman Reigns, which is a creative issue, and the bloodline angle, which is booking, and the most effective long-term angle in years. While the angle got stronger in 2023, where it doesn't count for this balloting, it was still the strongest in 2022. In addition, whether you are a fan of Bray Wyatt or not, that out-of-the-box thinking building up to his return was a huge short-term interest-level success. Even if Paul Heyman and Reigns played a huge part in one story and Wyatt himself in the other, the overseeing guy is Levesque. This is Dave acknowledging that his Readership got it completely wrong in the nicest possible way. This is also Dave telling Tony, you should listen to me. You, should, you yeah. shouldn't have stopped listening to me as much as you were. And this is the acknowledgement that AEW, anyone who argues that TV is coherent or well-booked is a liar. It's a liar. You're a liar. I don't know who I'm accusing of. <laughs> hey, 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 that, you're getting hot at me? Here? Anyone who says that is a liar and you're ignoring what's right there in front of everyone's face because you like some of the people and you like some of the matches. It's not good booking in any way. And this is the year that Dave, I think, has to acknowledge the best booker was nowhere near the best booker this year. But what do you think of Dave's explanation? Uh, Well, uh, there is much truth to that, but it seems like that that would go without saying that... And and who was number two? Rosie Ogawa. Okay, even if you like AEW, whoever the fuck Rosie Ogawa is and whatever she's done, 
It's a he. Wherever she's done it. It's, huh? a, it's a he. All right. Well, from stardom. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course. Not that many people saw it compared to what Paul Levesque did that made hundreds of millions of dollars. So, uh, that's the list, eh, Brian? Promoter of the year, Tony Khan. Oh, 415 my. first place votes, followed by Dana White, Rosie Ogawa. Paul Levesque, what? Nick Khan, Kidani, Stephanie McMahon, and Vince McMahon. Well, four or five people got the WWE credit, so that diluted their votes, I guess. I want to go back to the previous thing. What do you think of Dave saying that? Because you know what Dave's relationship with Tony's like. The fact that Dave is going in print, and again, in the nicest way, almost admonishing anyone who voted what is yeah, clearly well, completely they- wrong. The only thing that will cause Dave to turn on one of his close friends and idols like that is when one of his close friends and idols doesn't keep listening to him and, and starts listening to other people. And then he finds offense, I guess. If, if, you know, 40-year friendships don't matter, but goddamn, don't want to listen to Dave about his booking ideas to get those seven-star matches. He's going to start firing back. And again, 372 people voted for him to be Booker of the Year. So that's the other thing people need to know. Dave didn't vote for it. Everyone was like, look at the awards. Dave's biased. These are actual awards voted by people. And only 372 people out of the entire voting body voted for Tony Khan. So for anyone who wonders if it's a big deal or not, how big a deal is that? How big a deal is that? You know what's a big deal, don't you? The big deal is we have now proven that Dave's readership, at least, if nothing else, needs remodeling. But then we've seen pictures of Dave at his office at home, and there possibly needs to be some remodeling there done as well. And I don't even know what in the wide, wide world of sports Dave Meltzer's bathroom looks like, but I bet you, I'll bet my bottom dollar, there needs to be some remodeling and renovation done in Dave Meltzer's bathroom as well. So, folks, he probably doesn't listen to us anymore. He's mad at us. But if you happen to speak to Uncle Dave or anybody else that has a bathroom that even your dog don't want to poop in or a a, a bathroom, a shower and bathtub apparatus that your senior citizen members of the household can't get in and out of or your female members of the household say, I'm not sitting my naked butt down on that rotten grout and that mildew and all the seams. No matter who in your home doesn't want to poop in your reading room because it's ugly and unattractive, now is the time to make that change, and you can do it in the twinkling of an eye, in the snap of a finger, in the tick of a clock, in one day even. Because the folks at West Shore Home, the fastest growing shower and bath remodeling company in the United States of Buy Gum America, will fully replace your old shower or bathtub with the modern showers or baths in just one day. And we've been talking about the way they do it. They send out an advance guard. They send out feelers at first. They send out the specialists. What? I wouldn't call it an advance guard. An advance? Well, they send out the troops to survey the scene and make sure they got the battle plan all set up. They'll send out a specialist, a remodeling professional that will, a design consultant even that will come and show you all the stuff they've got. Laser etched designs, built in seats, shelves, doors, windows, magnetic shower heads. Boy, howdy. I'll tell you what, except if you have any screws or bolts in your very in your knees or your elbows or your body, if they've been surgically implanted, you'll never be able to pry that shower head off of yourself. But otherwise than that, they're great. <laughs> okay. The dream shower or bath you've always wanted, they will show it to you. You'll pick out everything you want. And then mere days later, possibly even hours, they might bring the truck right at that point and just troop the people in. They're remodeling professionals, professionals. That's a short for professionals. <laughs> They do a one-day bath replacement. See, they're using contractions because they got to get to the point. Everything's fast. They even speak in shorthand. Fuck, you won't understand what these people are saying. They only use three or four out of eight letters in the word because they want to keep moving. 
and it's fast, easy, and convenient. They take out the old shower bath. They throw it out in the backyard where the dogs can play with it. Or the kids, whatever, because sometimes kids like to play with old bathtubs in the backyard. And then they will install your brand new and do all the cleanup and have it ready to use before dinner, even if you don't eat dinner they'll do in that. your shower. Yes, they'll do that. You don't have to worry about a bathtub or anything else in your backyard. Certainly don't have your children play with equipment or not equipment, uh, appliances. Is a well, bathtub no, an appliance? No, it's not. Bathtub's not an appliance. Bathtub is more of a fixture. Now, the kids really enjoy playing with old refrigerators and freezers. No. If you leave them out there, but make sure that the door handles still latch, because elsewise they'll leave them open. They'll cool the whole neighborhood. No. But anyway, I, I, I assumed that it was a, a situation know. where a lot of people eat dinner in their bathtub or shower as they get a new one as a way of celebrating it, sort of like a housewarming. And that's why the West Shore home, get these incredible remodels done before dinner. You've informed me that that's not the case. Most people don't eat in their bathtub or shower. They just want to have, they want to just have it available before dinner. So that's what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. West Shore Home is a wonderful sponsor of this show. And they, they can do a wonderful job in your home. They can. If there's one thing you remember from this entire spot, remember this. Yes. They are tremendous at what they do. And they can do it for you. They can come and improve your bathtub, improve your life. Who doesn't want a better bathtub? That makes That's your life right. better. So yeah. remember this. Cleaner. West Shore Home. You should try them today. Yes, or tomorrow if it's too late today. Because you don't want them coming out in the middle of the night. Now, once they have your address, they may stop by on a regular no, they basis. Won't. No, they won't. They, they are won't. professional. Well, just to check and make sure everything's okay. They will come at the allotted time. Sometimes they just drive by the house about two or three in the morning, shine a light in the window, make sure everything still looks like they left it. That's, that's not what they do. <laughs> like a Dick Tracy episode. No, that's yeah, not what they do. Just, it, they're patrolling. It's part of the service. Folks, right now, if you want a better looking bathroom <laughs> and you want to poop in peace, you need to call West Shore home if you live in or around the following fine American metropolitan areas. Louisville, Lexington, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Richmond, Salisbury, Virginia Beach, Winston-Salem, Charlotte, Greenville, Asheville, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Charleston, Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, Greenville, New Bern, Columbia, Atlanta, Jacksonville, Orlando, Ocala, Tampa, Birmingham, Huntsville, Montgomery, Oklahoma City, Houston, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Phoenix, Denver, Colorado Springs, Salt Lake City, Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga. And they do windows and doors, too. And you can check out their website to see which locations that you can see through their windows or come through their doors. Happiness is just a phone call away. And once you finish calling that hooker, get on the phone and call out promo.westshorehome. Happiness the hooker? That's what it says. Happiness is just a phone <laughs> call away. That's what the, she, the name she gave me was happiness. <laughs> but then once you do that, you get online and you go to promo.westshorehome.com backslash gym for all the information. You will get the fastest, easiest, most convenient home remodeling experience you will ever have in your entire pee picking life. That's promo.westshorehome.com backslash gym. Just backslash me.